Rodeo time is almost here and the trail riders have arrived. Sky 2 live over Memorial Park where the riders ended their week long journey just hours ago. We'll have more on that in just a few minutes. Another big pre rodeo tradition is the battle for the best barbecue. Oh, sounds like a good battle, doesn't it? <laughs> Teams from all over the world show off their best recipe for brisket, pulled pork and a whole lot more. Competition got underway today at NRG Park. Channel 2's Brandon Walker, they're live with the real tough gig tonight. Hi, Brandon. Good evening, Dominique. So you got about 250 teams competing this weekend. We decided to uh, cross the street from 5 o'clock, take a look at another setup. These are the damn if I know cookers. We're joined now by Mr. Uh, John Sauter. Sir, thank you so much for being here. You got to tell us more about what you're cooking and what you're bringing to the table this weekend. Oh, well, Brandon, I tell you, we are doing something I don't think anybody else out here is uh, doing. We do some fried ribs, and um, it is a crowd favorite. What are we looking at right now? Well, over here we have some uh, barbecue ribs here with a, a nice ancho glaze. We've got a couple of different types of sausage. Uh, we've also got some uh, chipotle chicken working as well. Now that chicken is really important, uh, Keith and Dominique. You walk with us over here. You can see uh, last year the chicken did pretty well, right? Yeah, oh, it sure did. We came in third place. Second runner up in chicken. So what about this year? Oh, we are looking to take the whole thing. I tell you, chicken all the way brisket honestly number 12 as well so we've got a pretty well-rounded team here with damn if i know well now there's something that you all told us that you got that's uh, not part of the competition you got to see this i know you're telling me to wrap up but you got to see this deep fried ribs and i'm actually going to try one here you know i mean we we have to just to make sure that it's all right for everyone what do you say about this sir this is great we batter them, we season them, we batter them and season them again, and then they're ready. All right, well, here we go for TV. I'm eating on TV. I can't believe it. Let's see. Oh, I'm going to have one, too. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. That's good. Oh, maybe. Oh, stop right. it. Maybe. Maybe, just maybe, Dominique and Keith, we'll bring you back one. Maybe I won't finish this one and just bring you back the right. No, no, no. You know what? I love you. We'll bring you back a full spread. Definitely. We'll take care of you, Dominic. Don't worry. Thank you. See y'all at 10 o'clock. Follow it with a deep fried Oreo while you're at it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm, I, I want to I want to eat now. I'm Goodness starving. gracious. All right. Among those partaking in the food were fans who are visually impaired. With the help of technology, a number of blind and visually impaired barbecue fans got to visit the cooks, sample the food, and touch or feel the Western decorations and all the props at the event. Very nice. And all day today, you've been sending us pictures of your precious children dressed up for Go Texan Day. You can send us your photos by emailing them us to share at click2houston.com.